warm things up, didn't you say? That's a cold day out there. What? How cold is it? The politicians on Parliament Hill have their hands in their own pockets. That's how cold. <laughs> anyway, we're here today to bring you back some musical memories. I'd like to point out that on October of 2012, the Grey Jazz Big Band celebrated its 25th anniversary. And they did it at, yes they did. They did it at the Great Good Companion Center, which is our home base, and where we practice every Friday morning. And a lot of memories uh, that day. We had two former mayors in the audience. We had, uh, we had uh, Bob Shirelli, and we also had uh, the lady there. Uh, no, no, it wasn't uh, Mary and Joe, it was Jackie. Anyway, uh, we look back on those days and we remember, well, some great concerts. We had one at the, uh, at the War Museum, the Canadian War Museum, just after it opened, it was on Remembrance Day. And then we played at the Chateau Laurier Ballroom a couple of years ago for the 100th anniversary of the Ottawa Little Theatre. And of course, over the years, over the last 20 years, over time, we have been doing that, doing the band, playing the band at the Mayor's Canada Day Breakfast. And that's at the Aberdeen Pavilion in Madison Park, and we're hoping to be back there this year, this July the 1st. And that brings back a memory because at that time, in 1997, we had two special guests. They were Her Majesty the Queen and Prince Philip who attended that particular breakfast because it was their 50th wedding anniversary. And we invited the Queen to come up and sign the book. And Prince Philip turned to Stu Smith, who was leading the band, and said, do you chaps play Glenn Miller? <laughs> and Stu assured him that he, we did. And as the royal couple went back to their seats, the band played Moonlight Serenade. Anyway, a story.